When Julia was born, we were so, so happy. She was the most beautiful baby. She was so happy all the time, so full of life and love. And we were so looking forward to seeing her grow up and do so many amazing things. And I feel like we are getting completely robbed, completely cheated. Well, specifically with Julia, I mean, she's being robbed of her first day of kindergarten. Um, I, I'm getting robbed of going to daddy-daughter dances with her. You can just see from such a young age, she, was, she would have been a great mother, an unbelievable mother. And um, I think that's probably the hardest thing for me, to know that she'll never have any kids. You know, it's the hardest thing. beginning when Julia was diagnosed I was just so scared um, every morning I'd wake up and just have this horrible pit in my stomach because I was hoping this was all a bad dream and to wake up day after day after day it's been the scariest worst roller coaster I've ever been on. It's hard to describe how it feels. It's hard to describe the emptiness of how I feel now knowing that we're going to lose her. That all that they did to try to save her didn't work. And that was one of my biggest fears at the beginning. What if we do all of this to her put her through all of this torture, and then it doesn't work. I want people to know what it's really like, you know, to have a child with a serious disease like neuroblastoma. It's, it, it changes your whole life. You know, before it was just going to work and coming home and just having fun you know, just playing and having fun with the kids. And now it's all focused on, I have to forget about my other two kids and focus on Julia almost 100%. And it's giving meds, you know, just, just taking care of her, just holding her, sometimes just holding her for hours just to comfort her because um, she's in so much pain. But I want people to know that the treatment that's available currently for Julia's disease is, was not adequate. Um, something needs to be done for these kids. There's suffering going on that's beyond measure. These kids deserve far better than what they're getting. And if research isn't done, progress isn't made. I mean, a lot of the drugs that Julia was given have been around for 20 and 30 years. We're doing the same thing we've been doing for 20 or 30 years, and it's ridiculous to do that. You know, there's got to be something new, something better. It's it's an unfortunate world, but I believe that through foundations like CKC and others, you know, I think there, there is a cure out there for these kids. I think the most challenging point in this process was when we found out that Julia was gonna die and that the treatment was not working, that everything that we had been doing to try to save her life was not working and for her to relapse on treatment, it's a feeling that just I can't describe knowing that my daughter is gonna die because there's not a treatment out there to save her life. It's just, a horrendous feeling. It's just an, an emptiness knowing that my daughter's going to die soon. And I don't want other families to have to go through that.